Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, edible wild plants, I guess you call it. Or foraging, there's this big thing about foraging in the woods for edible foods instead of, you know, growing cultivated foods. And we have a, we like sunflowers so much that we have a bed, a raised bed dedicated just to sunflowers. And it kind of goes a little crazy. It's not dedicated to sunflowers, look at that. It's dedicated to variety. There's a lot of variety in there. And we're being dive bombed by deer flies right now. But one of the things that's in here, and uh, my friend Bill, who did not steal the, um, uh, what's that stuff called? The Gorilla Glue, by the way. Um, he is learned about a lot of edible wild plants, I guess you call them, rather than cultivated plants, wild plants that are edible. And one of them is this thing called Lamb's Quarter. And Lamb's Quarter is growing like crazy in this bed. So it's not a weed? Well, you know, a weed is basically a plant that's growing where you don't want it to grow. So it's not a weed to you. It's not a weed to me. It might be a weed to people. But what it really blew me away is like I was looking around when I was working down in New York and I saw a lamb's quarter growing up in the in the park. And up here I've seen it in people's yards and I've seen it along the roadsides. And according to the people on the web, it is healthier or it has more nutritional value than spinach. No way. Yeah, yeah. It definitely tastes better too. And I have I, I've been researching this for about a week and I have yet to eat it. So this will be the live Eric taste testing of the uh, lamb's quarter. You sure it's edible? Well, Wikipedia says it is. Oh, <laughs> it's a plot. <laughs> <laughs> it's also called, I have some notes here, I did research. It's called Pit Seed Goosefoot. It's called uh, Goosefoot because the leaf resembles a goose foot. Kind of, it does. You know, yeah. so you'd have two. You know, when I was a You're kid. Like, I'm kind of like a mime. This is my Marcel Mosseur, Marcel Marceau goose miming. I thought that you didn't like mimes. I don't like mimes. Who does? <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> this stuff is sold in the food co-op in Brooklyn where we shop. For a lot of money? Not really a lot of money either, but there's a, um, you know, there's a couple of farms upstate that are growing a bunch of different stuff like different kinds of dandelion and that. And it blew me away the other day, but they had... Um, weeds. Weeds. <laughs> you want to try this? So let's do a tasting, huh? What do you say? Here we go. I think you would want... I am going to do a watching. Oh, and another thing about this is it is an aphid attractant plant. So you could plant this in the far corner of your yard and get aphids away from your vegetables. So as proof positive of that, if you look under here, it's a ton of aphids. And then there's an ant crawling here. And the ants cultivate the aphids because the aphids secrete a honeydew that the ants eat. So this is an aphid attracting plant, so you could plant this in the far corner of your field and you could have your vegetable plants not have any aphids. Or you could plant them in your sunflower bed. Or you could just let them grow in the sunflower. We let a bunch of them go to seed and they're called pit seed because the flower goes to seed and it's similar to quinoa, which I used to call quinona. Um, it's a very small seed and you can um, steam it and it's pretty good. Ready? You're not doing your, oh wow, that's really good. You know, it tastes like a green. It just tastes like a green. It tastes kind of spinachy. You steam it, or you can saute it with olive oil. You can eat it with amaranth. You could have it with garlic scapes if you want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some in a little salad. Okay, I'm gonna make a salad. Why don't you go watch the dogs? All right, I got some different salad greens here. What else did you get? Um, some deer tongue lettuce and some red lettuces and... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a very good idea. It's dinner time, you know. What 
What are you doing? Putting the oil and vinegar in there? Oil, vinegar, a little salt and pepper, and some different greens. Yum. That was easy. Good weeds? It grows on the side of the road. I mean, maybe <laughs> you should get it off the side of the road, but... No. <laughs> you're in a field. Check this out. By the way, we are not plant experts, and I guess legally we have to say make sure you exactly know what you're eating. But, you know, use some common sense. Look There's a up. guy named Wild Man Steve Brill, who's a Brooklynite, who has a really neat site about edible wild foods. All right, there you go. Come to our site, GardenFork.tv, a ton more videos. Also, we have our radio, internet radio show, Garden Fork Radio. We have Labrador pictures posted almost every day on the site. I'm making a great day. Go get some of this and eat it, okay? I'll see you later. You look healthier already. I am healthy. Look at that glow. I love this. Music, it's like so. Please. It's so simple. Yeah, that's the easiest episode you ever made. <laughs> It's really good with the pepper on it. <laughs>